line has now sunk. Back on the rest. And we're fishing again. Hopefully there's a couple more to be had. And while we're waiting, same again. Get your next cast ready. Tips. Just swung back that time. Nice drop back bite. Picked up and we're into another fish. Stayed on that same spot where I clipped up the first cast. Probably weren't quite as long this time, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Again, one or two liners before it went round. No better sign that you're doing things right and you're in the right spot when you're getting liners. Really is plodding away nicely out there now. said earlier we don't really know how big they go or what the average sort of size fish is so I'm trying to take it a bit steady feels quite a nice fish no need to rush just keep steady pressure on if you can keep your rod low those last ditch runs for freedom. I've got reeds either side of me so I have to be a little bit careful but at the minute he is behaving. Now coming underneath the rod tip. It's a cracking winter carp. Nice mouth. Doesn't look like he's been caught too many times. What about that for a winter carp? That's brilliant. Probably say, well, he might be, might be eight pound maybe. Don't think he's quite double figures, but what a lovely fish. Let's not keep him out too long. We'll pop him back. We're into another fish again now. Trying to get me around the reed bed we've got just to our right. Putting up a nice scrap. We had a little bit of a dry spell, so we just wound it in and recast it, and then actually it was only probably in there a couple of minutes after the cast. And sometimes you do find that they, they're attracted to the sound and the noise of something going on. I mean they are just general inquisitive creatures. They, they'll come and find out and investigate what's going on. And just where that splash was, you've got your little pile of hook baits, your cone of pellets. They just can't resist it. This one really is. Good, good account for himself. in open water now. Just keep the pressure on. Swung completely round, now going the other way. Just 
work out what's best for you playing your fish. I mean, I play my fish normally on the back wind with the clutch slightly set as well if I'm not quite quick enough. But if you're not used to playing fish in the back wind, just set your clutch nicely so you're not pulling too hard, you're not going to rip no hooks out. Another nice fish. This time we changed to a pink bait and see that just hanging out of his mouth. It's nearly ready now. It's plodding away under the rod tip. And there he is. One last kick. And he's ours. Lovely fish again. There he is. Nice hook hole on the side. Almost. A fully scale, really beautiful scale patterns on him. That is a really, really stunning fish. Best looking fish I've caught for a long while. And again, probably not quite 10 pound, but cracking fish. It's another gorgeous fish on a lovely winter's day. They're slipping back and we'll watch them swim off. Get another fish on now. Didn't take too long. It's not really done much at the minute. It's got a bit of a dead weight reel in. It's nodding head now and again, but feels quite a nice fish. Sometimes you do find with slightly bigger fish, they don't cause as much problems as little fish. Little fish tend to be real turbocharged rockets and run you all over the place. Sometimes with these slightly better fish you've seen today, if you just keep steady pressure on, they sort of just follow you in. Certainly putting a good bend in the old rod. Just on the edge of that reed bed there, so this is the most important bit of the fight. Trying to keep him away from that same time slowly working its way towards me. Certainly doesn't matter about any fish, they always know where the snags are, no matter what species, what size. Change the angles. Got a nice tail pattern out there. It's a lovely double winter carp. Wrapping himself up with the line. Just quickly untangling. Spin around his fin. There we are. Take the hook out. Let's have a quick look at him. We've got plenty of energy. That's another cracking fish. Really good size of the fish today, it's been really nice. And although the fish are still feeding, we are going to call it a day there. It's one of my old fishing buddy's birthday tonight, so we're going to have a few drinks of him. So just come out for a short session, but we've shown you four lovely carp. All on the pellet cone.
Let's slip this one back. Well, thanks again for watching the latest episode from the Water's Edge. I personally have really enjoyed that session. It's my first time down here and we've shown you four cracking carp on the pellet cone. It's certainly a venue I'm looking forward to coming back to in the future and having a look at some of these more stunning carp. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.